me. So it is Sunday. My lunch bag. I lost my lunch bag. I'll use this one. It's Sunday. I'm getting ready for work. A bit croaky. Um, we've got a double nutcracker show today. So I'm just packing my lunch. We do have a, a really great canteen at work, but I just always tend to try and make my own because predominantly I won't like it or it'll be very heavy. And obviously I don't want that for a performance. So I've popped some Smarties in there. Because why not? I've also got these little dates with like marzipan in them. I've got an apple. I'm just doing a pasta dish and I've actually got like a homemade sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> I realise that doesn't go with pasta. But let's just go with it. Oh, I could just do a truffle one. Sweet, truffle or pasta. I'm going for that. And I thought I'd make myself a smoothie because I'm not eating enough fresh stuff. So I start with a little bit of water in. I've got spinach, I've got two like plums, I've got some berries, some blueberries, and half an orange. I'm going to juice the orange because I don't want the orange actually in there. Like, how long does this cook for? That's a nice, that's a mess. I'm doing a mix of normal pasta, or like brown pasta, and this red lentil pasta. It's a bit more substance. I mean, obviously I haven't done my hair today because after class I'm going to be in a wig until like 10pm, so. Don't need that. Okay, it's 9.51 and I need to leave at like 10 past. Mm, that's a push. I'm also trying to upload today's weekly vlog from last week that's going up today. Having some difficulties. Much fun. <laughs> it's not a very nice colour. It was a nice green before from the spinach, but I put the berries in, obviously. It's, um... Anyway, it tastes good, so I don't mind. So that was one plum, a couple of raspberries, a handful of blueberry, blueberries. Half an orange, a bit of honey, some water to dilute it because I can't have a big smoothie. And then a teaspoon of maca powder and a teaspoon of hemp protein powder. Sorry? No. I I heard you singing before. Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? Matkirne. Maybe. No, if I if I hear something by the end of the song, I can normally join in. Yeah, because it's easier. I mean, it's a talent of mine. Because it's the evening, we'll go party time. Mm -hmm. Do something sticky. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Peggy. Yeah. This shaker. You're right, love. You're right. You're right, love. It's Tom who had a fake tan before his party. You're right. Evening. This is how I sleep, apparently. Oh. Well, I am nearly at the end of a double performance day. So that means two nutcrackers. We had one at two o'clock and one start at six o'clock. 
which is still going on but I enter at the end of act two like the very end I go looking for Marie or Clara as she wasn't in her bed obviously because she's been in Candyland got my nighty and dressing gown behind me Oof. I arrived at work at 10.30 it's 7 o'clock now I'll probably finish I'll probably be getting out of here about 9 Tom who you saw before is my husband in Act 1 for these two performances next week I'll get a different husband I have had six wig changes today I start off with this but it's a different one it's one with like a crown and stuff not a crown but a headdress like a tiara thing for the party scene then I quit changing to snow then I go back to this I've done that twice today and each of those changes has different makeup and you don't take your makeup off and then do it again so like I start with party scene makeup and then in the quit change they change me to snow so it's like white on top of that white lips some more like glitter stuff and when I get changed on top of the white they put my bedtime makeup on which is this had that on for the break then I went back into makeup after the break put my party makeup on top of that ice on top of that bedtime makeup on top so I have six layers on currently and my skin will be delightful tomorrow Bringing people joy at Christmas. I'm going to sew some point shoes whilst I wait to go on and obviously go and watch my colleagues. Can I just say how much I love this dressing gown? Look at this. I mean, this is probably not doing it justice. But if you saw the train on it, so you see, wee! <laughs> oh, I need to go home. Good morning. It is Monday. I am off today, and Gareth called me and wants to do some Christmas shopping and needs my help. Also, I need to make a fairly big purchase. For myself of which I need his help in and I'm getting the tram to meet him in town he's been to the sauna on one side my apartment spans like the whole width of, the whole width of the building the whole length of the length of the building on one side it's like glorious sunshine and on the other side it looks dull as old dishwater so I need to get out before that one covers that one what else? What else? My skin's not actually too bad yet after yesterday. I've got a couple of situations here where that could be hormones. Um, I've got quite the skincare routine post performance. Um, maybe I'll show you that another time. Okay, I need to get on the tram before it pulls down the rain again. Christmas in TK Maxx. Currently in TK Maxx, Gareth, and he has. We're Christmas shopping, and he has the shortest patient span for any shopping ever. Brown Chelsea boots. These no, ones. Black ones. Oh, oh. Did you look in the 46 section? Have Look, 46 plus. Yep, yeah, they don't have any. Um, For big and long. Trust. What do you think of these? Cool or not cool? Yeah, nice. Oh? I just, them I'm not much fan of the colour. These two? Yeah, nice.
from Christmas shopping with Butty. Butty is Gareth. That's his family nickname. That's what I mean when I say Butty. Um, yeah, I'm home now. I didn't make my big purchase because... So, I need a MacBook. Um, my current editing situation is quite extensive and it's taking a very long time because it's over two old iPads and a iPhone. So, and the laptop I currently have has absolutely no storage whatsoever. So I need to just bite the bullet and get a Mac, a MacBook Pro. But they didn't have one with an English keyboard. They only had the German keyboard ones with in the the 2018 MacBook Pro with the Touch ID and stuff. So I need to go back and order it. But I'm hoping to have that soon. I also ordered myself a rug, which is from Mum and Dad for Christmas. That was stressful. Just general frantic shoppingness. In TK Maxx I got this smoked plum candle, which is a DW home candle. I got a, this is an original formula one. This is woody bergamo. Mm. They do really good, um, it's like different scented candles. I also get, I popped to Lush and I got the candy cane it's like a candy cane bath bomb, but it's reusable. Mm. So I got that in Lush. I also got, which was a, grabs me at the counter purchase, is their Cranberry Fizz. Um, it's a lip scrub, basically. I just love the smell of a Lush store, it's so nice. Mm. Yeah, my lips get really dry. I was thinking today to get a lip brush, but um, my lips get really dry with like performance lipsticks. And obviously yesterday I had six different coats of lipstick on top of each other over a eight hour period. So they need a scrub because they're dry. Obviously it's cold as well. I got a NYX, I got the NYX 3-in-1 brow thing, just as a quick brow situation. Mine's running very low. I need to look at the Anastasia brow ones, but I had Gareth on my tail today and they've given me, it's a foundation from Clinique. Hmm. Nice, got my rug. What else did I get? I think that was it. That did pretty well. Not buying too much. I also got some truffle crisps from TK Maxx because she likes the truffle. So I, what's the time now? 4.47. Nice till day. I, I'm gonna make some food because I haven't really eaten enough today and I'm gonna wrap some presents so I'm gonna do that maybe I'll make a hot chocolate that'd be nice and put a Christmas movie on I also bumped into you can't swing a cat in Dresden without bumping into someone you know it's normally someone from the company however it was a nice surprise I bumped into um, a guy called Zach who was a soloist with the Estonian National Ballet, he's now a Czech national and he was just over to Dresden for two days. It's like less than two hours bus ride um, from here to Prague which is really cute and he was over with some friends for the day I bumped into him. So that was nice. Hope you're doing well Zach. Need to get wrapping. just thought I would sit. I've got Harry Potter on, which is currently free with Amazon Prime on Prime Video. Woo -woo. So I've got some like 
some of last year's wrapping paper. Garris bought his. I got some Malamu wrapping paper and this one's got dash hounds on it that Kerry bought me last year. And then an abundance of ribbons and fancy things, some tags. And then I also have my wrapping box from my office, but <laughs> that's just the extra bit. They've all moved about this year. How are they? My granola. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. I made it. Wait, if you have to go backwards now, isn't it? Yeah, that's how it goes. 
12, on the 12th day of Christmas, so check out the 12, <laughs> 12, 12. Oh, this is easy because there's a song for it. How do you say Merry Christmas in Spanish? Feliz Navidad! Yes! Navidad. Feliz Navidad. What country has the tradition of filling children's clogs <coughs> with plenty of treats on December the 5th? Germany. Could be Germany as well. They do it, yeah. yeah. Right, who created Rudolph, the most popular oh, reindeer, reindeer, Netherlands? Oh, oh. Of Santa Claus. You lose. I said that. Don't fart on me, I swear to God. Right. Put this in the booth, please. Good day, my bad way! What comes that from? <laughs> Catch you with me. See me. No, don't, 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 don't hurt me. Yeah, you need to. Next one. I do. No, mate, sweet tight. Morning. Mum just brought me tea.